Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had they had known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Now, where could that... Ringo! Incendium. The cave must be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. So this is the infamous absconder. Confringo! Incendio! Bombarda! Confringo! Incendio! Incendio! Bombardier! 
Nevada. You look none the worse for wear. Oh, I take it you decided against entering the absconder's cave, then? Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend, and I shall miss him. Please, uh, accept this reward for your trouble. I should be going now. Thank you. Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember him by.